This is the Business of Leadership Series Minute with your host, the best-selling author of Don't Buy a Duck and founder of MarketingStrategyHero.com, Derek Champagne. I'm really excited about our guest today. I saw him a year or so ago on Shark Tank. He's got an amazing company that's disrupting the greeting card industry. You've probably seen him on Shark Tank or Inc. Magazine or Boston Globe or any other major media that's covering the things that his wonderful company is doing. John Wise, the COO at Love Pop, co-founder, welcome to the program today. Thank you so much, Derek. I'm really, really excited to chat with you all. Man, I, I really appreciate you. I, I remember when I first saw, and I'm sitting here at, on my desk right now, I've got the Will of Love scene. I've got the card. I, I, we ordered it before this oh, interview. That's amazing. My team, we're, we're, we're a creative agency here. My team just fell in love with it. And I know that's just one of many amazing designs. And I remember when I first saw it on television, the first time, and I just, it was amazing to me that uh, Naval Architects and with your background then came up with this. So I've got to ask you, tell me a little bit about how you got started and just some early days and just any highlights you want to share that got you to where you are today. It's a really funny kind of crazy thing that Naval Architecture like truly is relevant to creating these cards. Um, we, so I guess it, it really starts with me and my co-founder, Wambi have known each other for 10 years. We met in Naval Architecture School. Um, so it's been like a very, very long friendship um, that evolved into, into being business partners. We were traveling. Um, the style of card that we create is called Sliceform Kirigami. Um, it's not brand new. Um, we are just the first ones using kind of cutting edge software equipment to make way more of it and way more intricate designs. Hmm. Um, we, so we experienced like the similar artwork, fell, absolutely fell in love. That was the coolest thing ever. We were fighting over um, like using some of the cards we had found to, as our personal thank you notes. Um, and we went back to Boston, started designing. I was just like tinkering. Um, and I had actually looked in some of our other name architecture friends too, and we were like tinkering, designing these cards, and people loved them. Hmm. Um, people thought they were just the coolest thing ever. We designed a ship that was, it was actually the design by the founder of Web, where we went to school. Hmm. Um, and so we designed a ship, everyone loved it. It was like Valentine's Day was coming, so we designed this heart, which is actually our original Love Pop card, um, which everyone loved. And, so it kind of, it evolved into, we're like, okay, well, this is fun to make and people really like it. People are wanting to buy them from us. Like, okay, I guess we'll sell them. Um, and it started as a really just intricate or interesting kind of engineering challenge and, and fun like business to start on the side. Over time, um, things like the Willow, and as we started creating more intricate, more elaborate sculptures, and started seeing more people interact with the cards, we realized that we were actually hitting on something very different, um, which is just like the human need to connect and kind of we, we over time realized the value of a greeting card is real and substantial. Um, like greeting cards have a place, but over the last 50 years, the traditional greeting cards that you see on the rack are just, they haven't changed at all. 